Hello everyone and welcome back to Factory Town, where in the last episode we cleaned up a little bit. Um, we didn't really expand our infrastructure too much. We have added a forester down here so our building materials are more or less secured. And we've also added in another workshop down here which is now producing wagon wheels which are being stored in a barn and also uh, books. So our research can move a little bit faster. but. For that to happen, we need blue coins. Well, that may or may not be the focus of today's episode, though. We've got a few things that we can work on. I can straight up sell the uh, the iron plate. Now, one way that I can do that, this, this barn has iron plate. That's not going anyway. Uh, the nails don't sell for particularly any uh, real use. Uh, however, I can set up a little workshop that could make me some uh, nice items, uh, specifically reinforced planks. That's definitely something I think uh, that is worth us looking into. So let's go ahead and lower this down if we can. Okay, well, I placed that poorly before. Now I'm now I'm uh, facing facing the uh, the music for that. Uh, let's pop this down right about there. I think it would be good. Now then, hmm. uh, that's going to be a little bit of a pot, actually. Uh, well, I think we can make this work. Okay, so what do we need in here? Well, specifically, to get the reinforced plank, we're going to need planks, iron plates, and nails. We're going to need two iron plates. In fact, that's a that's a bit rough. Uh, alternatively, I could make shoes. No, I think uh, I think. The ooh wait, the pickaxe. Now that looks very nice. Uh, so yeah, we could make a pickaxe out of an iron plank and two um, blue coins. Now let's have a quick look at the, at the economy of this. This is worth one red coin. Now, I'm not really sure how to convert red coins to blue coins. It seems a little bit silly to just say, oh yeah, one red coin is with two. Uh, sorry, one blue coin is with two red coins. But let's just use that for now, for argument's sake. So uh, it would take four of these. So that's two blue coins worth. It would take two of these. That's two blue coins worth. So four blue coins in total. And let's just forget about the plank. It's uh, not worth calculating there. So that's a reasonable increase in value, I feel. Now down here. Take one of these with, it, with six, another two to eight. So yeah, yeah, making the pickaxe definitely seems worth it to me. Now then, all we're going to need from outside is to bring planks across. So let's set that up. Let's go ahead and pop down a, a wagon. I know I said I wasn't going to bring, uh, wasn't going to set up the, the blue coins, but uh, it's so easy. I may as well. Right, we're going to want two grabbers. One right there. Now the other is a little bit more awkward. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to place this properly, but let's see. Uh, I will want nails moving across here, and this other grab. Oh no, the. Oh, I'm not sure why it does that, but the other grabber will need to be iron plates. Let's find you. There we go. Perfect. Right, can we get this to move across nice? Uh, no, we cannot. And that is actually quite, quite dismaying. Oh, well, uh, that was a fair bit of money's worth that we wasted there, but nah, well, it's not the worst thing that we've seen happen. Uh, actually, let's move this around just a little bit so it's a little bit more obvious how it's all working. So we want iron plates. Right there, there we go. And, well, I'm a little worried that the barn is going to empty out our iron plates and that's gonna be quite the problem for us, but we'll see how it goes for now. Uh, let's bring this out, there we go. And here we are. Right, now this should, if we're lucky, produce everything we need. I'll make the reinforced uh, planks and then the pickaxe. Perfect, and that is being maintained. That is excellent. And with that, I mean, we could take it over there. It will become such spaghetti. I'm not sure we want to do that. I think that might actually rot some brains. So instead, 
Let's just take that across there. Now this should give us a reasonable economy of blue coins. There we go. Marvelous. Okay, so uh, that's one unintended uh, fix applied. There we are. I really wasn't expecting to work on that in this episode, or at least it, was, it wasn't a guarantee. But yeah, sure, that's fine. So with that happening and uh, our research going on, which I'm very happy to see happening, let's get down to some farming. Now, where would we like to farm? This farm over here, I mean, it's reasonable. We could set something up down here. We could even farm herbs, but uh, how would we then shift those around? I'm not sure. I'm not against the idea of having several little areas, each one producing something. So a farm over here, and they're just producing bread that would then be uh, hauled off to the food market. That wouldn't wouldn't be an issue for me. So yeah, sure. Let's let's go ahead and, and work on this then. So farming first and foremost. Let's uh, set this farm up right next to the water, so we get plenty of good old uh, good old water in there, and don't have to worry about any kind of well setup. Now we are going to have to build all of the tiles here ourselves. This is one of the the nice things about having this setup is we can just go straight down here since the fertilizer is being stored elsewhere it is not a problem for us to do in fact we can put it pretty much all over this area oh this is going to be grand this is going to be a very productive farm i feel very productive indeed now i'm going to leave this space here because i'm not entirely sure what i'm replacing there uh i would like very much to build a kitchen and just see what i can make Hmm. We're going to be wasting a little bit of money, possibly. I'll place this down here, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, we've unlocked the remedy. Well, let's have a look, then. What can we make? So, cooked fish. Just apply a fish and feel. Gets cooked fish. That makes sense. Uh, remedy is herb and water. All right, and the remedy sells... It's sellable as potion. Hmm. Okay. Uh, fish oil. You just apply two fish, you get fish oil. Sellable as a salve. Uh, alternatively, two fish oil. And for herbs, gets you an ointment. That gets you a lot more. Uh, antidote is two remedies and fish oil. That's a potion. Uh, fruit, you need an apple, a berry, and a pear. And you get fruit juice. Uh, apple, berries, and pears. Uh, oh no, just just fruit. So it's four fruits. Sugar. Where do you get sugar from? Interesting. Milk. I mean, that makes sense. And milk and cloth gets cheese. That, that, I actually find that quite quite endearing. Um, we would need dairy to to be able to make this. We need tomatoes as well. Sandwich is made from cheese, cooked chicken, and bread. Apple pie. Wow, there's so many things you can make. My goodness. Bread you make with what? You make bread from potatoes? Uh, okay. Strange. Protein shake. Okay, so we've got a good couple of options here. I don't think using the fish to get cooked fish is necessarily the best option. It's not particularly good for us in terms of uh, red coins. But that fish oil, definitely useful. So what do we want? We want grains. We also want herbs. Is there anything else that we might want there? Uh, some fruits, maybe. Oh, wouldn't be terrible bad. Um... Potatoes, tomato, potatoes, carrots would get us a veggie stew. Uh, we could go for meat stew. No, we're not producing any actual meat, unfortunately. We'd need cooked beef specifically for that one. Okay, so we could get some extra stew. I don't think that's necessary, strictly speaking. But having... That would sell as fruits and vegetables. And the, the advantage there is the more different types of items we're making... Um, so, for example, if we look in a house, 
we see that over here they have had something from fruits and vegetables. This house has got five happiness. They're a very happy house because they've got uh, a couple of different tools, a couple of different things have been contributing to it. Now they've run out of tools, so they've gone back down to uh, four happiness. But now maybe that's why I should be selling the nails. Hmm. That's not a bad idea, actually. Uh, they That may be a very good idea, in fact. Ooh. Yes, there we go. I was a little bit concerned that that might happen. And it has. Okay. Well, we'll sort that out by taking the nails over there and selling them directly. Let's grab just stacks of nails, please. Go ahead. Stacks of nails to be sold. We are never going to out-sell that. Oh, my lord. We may need to get rid of this barn. All right. That's awkward, to say the very least. Uh, alternatively, one way around it for us would be to add in a cloth conveyor there. This is not a very pretty solution, I grant you. Can we have a splitter on here? No, we can't. Well, what we can do... Okay, we'll, we'll do this slightly differently, but uh, it, it isn't a pretty solution. Still not a pretty solution. But it le at least does work. And it'll be a, a short-term fix for us. Let's get uh, cloth conveyor coming up here. There we, are. there we go. And we should be able to remove the grabber there. This way... We've basically given a bypass for what we need. It'll allow the workshop to continue producing. And most of our homes will be reasonably happy because they're getting a decent amount of nails sold to them on a fairly frequent basis. So that, that all works out. But as I was saying, with regards to this, we're going to need a couple of things. First and foremost, we're going to need herbs. We are definitely going to need grain. We could just do herbs and grain. That would not be a problem. We deliver the fish and the chicken and the grain, and it would all sort itself out, more or less. Uh, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and start planting things. Now I'm going to need some herbs, and that's a bit of a potch. Um, indeed, because they're going to run out of herbs very soon. So how about I build a very temporary silo? We could pop it just about here, and you could deliver your herbs direct to the silo instead. Once we've got a couple of herbs in there, then we can start working on a few other things. Right, so we're going to be wanting herbs brought out of here, so let's pop that down. We want a grabber for herbs. Uh, alternatively, we could set up a filter that would allow certain items through. Uh, I think setting up the grabber would probably be a better one. Uh, so let's have that one for herbs specifically. Is there anything else we could make that only re requires one more item? Fruits. Okay. Yeah, sure. So fruits and grain. We're going to have a, a decent little farm here, I think. So we'll have fruits. And indeed green. So there we go. Want fruits on this one. Uh, what kind of fruit? I guess we could go for berries. Sure. Uh, wait, not berries. Uh, that does pose a little bit of a problem for me. Uh, we could have apples. Maybe. But we would need to find somewhere that had apples. Was there somewhere that had berries on the map? I believe there was. Yes, just over here. Okay. Well, once again, I could set up a little uh, stockpile, a little silo perhaps, for those berries. Uh, sure, we'll pop that down there. Get one gatherer. If you could just move those in there for me, that would be great. Now, the silo has some herbs in it. Will that allow me to plant herbs? No. I am going to have to move them. Elsewhere, I'm going to allow them to continue gathering there, though. It'll be the same with the berries. And finally, 
This one will be for green specifically. So there we are, uh, green, perfect. Right, we will then be bringing that out to a grain mill, which we will set up just here, right there in fact. And all this needs to make is flour. So what are we gonna be making in here specifically? We're gonna be making bread. We're going to need water to make the remedy. Ah, of course. Well. Alternatively, I can make the ointment. That doesn't require water. So, okay, uh, we'll go for fish oil. And then ointment. We'll also have cooked chicken. And fruit juice. I think that's about all we're going to need to do. I think that will generally be good enough for us. We don't need anything funky other than that. All right, so there we go. Uh, we will want a... Honestly, we can have a chute here. There's no reason to have a conveyor belt there. And uh, that will be an issue. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's delete this and move it back by one. Uh, we can have this come along and down. Connects up nicely. And this. And do much the same. Like so. Now, I'm not sure if these will roll. I'm hoping they will obviously, uh, but not entirely certain of that. Still, I'm fairly certain that, that this will be a decent little setup. Uh, let's have that going down there. We don't need to put a grabber on this because it's only going to be taking flour out, and that should give us everything we need. All right. Now, have you finished your job? You have finished your job. Well done. What I would like you to do then, in this case, uh, you are gathering herbs from over there. That's fine then. Uh, in this case, could you please move these? Oh, actually, you know what? No. Uh, how about you continue to gather these herbs? Uh, I keep clicking. Unfortunately, it's a little bit finicky sometimes. There you go. You can continue to bring these down. It's not a, a great job for you. You're going to be wandering quite far, but it's fine for now. You're helping us all out. All right, let's move all of these across. Now allow me to set up the herbs. Now I'm not sure how much of, of a garden I'm going to have for the, the various resources, uh, but while all of that's being moved across, let me just clear out these areas. Don't need that. Don't need this. In fact, let's uh, clean out that little area there and pop down a little bit more uh, farm tiles. Now, of course, I could happily not deliver any fertilizer here. But that would really help. We'll have to see on that one whether we can we can get through this without having to, to worry too much about it. Uh, it's still delivering over the herbs. So sure, let's go ahead and, and plant those then. The herbs can go, let's have something like this set up for our herbs. Now, what are we going to use the most of? This requires two, that requires four. Okay, so we're going to need more herbs than fruit. Plant the herbs, in fact, we're going to need more herbs by a very large margin. And we're not storing it in any kind of uh, barn. Ah, that's a bit of a risk, I'll be honest, but um, perhaps what we could do is have it stored in a silo first, so that if need be, I could gather it. Mm. For the time being, I think we will be okay. We'll just see what we can do. There we go. That should be pulled plenty enough uh, herbs. I, I could possibly push it out a little bit further, but I don't think that's strictly necessary there. Uh, next up, we are going to want to check down here. We've 
almost empty this. There we go. And with that gone, you can get rid of the silo completely. Right. Now, where is the... There we are. Thank you. Could you please bring over the berries? If you can find a way. You can't find a way in there. My bad. Let me uh, take care of that for you. There we are. I should now have a valid path. Um, oh, did I grab the wrong thing? I think I did. Okay, that's uh, awkward. Yep, that's actually super awkward. Hmm. Um, well, now, where did I need those uh, stone bricks being moved? Right down there. Okay, well, let's uh, let's get those on the move again. Uh oh, something is gonna break. Ah, uh, that is unfortunate to say the very least. Ah oh, well. Uh, you can help me by bringing a few more across. There we are. And once we've got those over here, then I, I don't really need any more being gathered. So, berries. Let's go ahead and pop these down there. Need a couple more delivered, but... Oh, no! I made the classic blunder. There we go. We have unlocked rails. New structure unlock rail. New structure unlock rail stop. Uh, rail tile. Mining. And a minecart. Okay. Rails and minecarts can be used to quickly transport lots of goods. Place rails and rail stops next to buildings to automatically deposit or withdraw goods from the building. Set the item filter on the minecart to restrict the type of goods picked up. Ah, okay. So uh, that would be the deposit loop and that would be the extraction loop. Actually seems quite cool. Uh, maybe you could just be over there for a moment. Now you can try and move it. That may well be the big help for us here. Uh, which, right, I need you to take those all the way up to the kitchen. And on that note, I'm going to need to remove pretty much all of these trees. We no longer need them. It's not important for us to preserve those trees anymore. I know that. Oh, wow, that, that hurt. That hurt to say. Wow! Things come out of my mouth sometimes. Egads. That was painful. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's allow the, uh, the fish to be brought over. Oh my goodness, you're taking a very long winding path, aren't you? Well, that's gonna have to be the way, I'm afraid. Um, actually, you could bring that over there as well, please. Anyone else bring in? Yeah, don't don't take the chicken there. Take the chicken up to the kitchen, please. Wow. Well, okay, you need to pull back. Let everyone else do. What were you doing? Right, go and drop that off. Soon we'll. Well, actually, no, not soon. We'll have that set up because I'm not actually storing it. Okay, I'm starting to see the error of my ways, really. Uh, in my attempt to get things done quickly, we're taking a lot longer. There we are, we've got fruit juice being made. We've got a lot of it, actually, which is amazing. We're delivering fish, we're delivering chicken. We have not got fuel, though. So, we're gonna need some of that. Uh, that is definitely something that we could set up a little uh, chute over here to deliver. There we go. Maybe get one, two. You guys can go ahead and bring that over. I'm not going to bring over any fertilizer. That would be a mistake. This is already so clogged, I don't even know how to deal with it. But that is all that we really need. You can, uh, you can stop working there. Thank you very much for all of your hard work, though. It was very, very useful. Uh, so with that... We have the chicken being cooked. We're still not taking any of this out, but we are producing it now. This is excellent. Right, the next step then for us. Ah, uh, there we go. We do not have that being used yet. So once again, we're just going to shut this down for a little bit so that the, uh, the grain starts to build up. And once that's done, 
we should be able to get the rest of this farm set up. We've already got all of the fruit trees that we can possibly use, which is glorious. Absolutely glorious, in fact. There we go. Got a few more being delivered. Okay, well, it would seem that what we need now is a wagon set to offload anything that's kind of uh, full up. So go ahead. The nearest place that you can drop this off should be here. There we are, apothecary. Straight away, loads of of uh, materials here. Brilliant. That's absolutely excellent, actually. Now, I imagine it's going to take us... Well, honestly, I think we might even be able to handle having a second wagon. Go ahead. Start grabbing what you can. What are we making in here? We're making fish oil, plenty of it actually. We are starting to move some of the cooked chicken. More cooked chicken on the move. Okay, now we are cooking with fire. This is fantastic. I really get a sense of accomplishment that this is starting to come together now. Let's get a fair bit of grain going over here. We're going to want a lot of grain, I imagine. We'll see how that produces first. What's our output like? Right, we should be onto the onto gathering the fruit juice at this stage. Let's have a look at how that goes. Uh, no, you've picked up a uh, some ointment. Okay. What are we gonna grab next? Then some more chicken. Okay, it might be back and forth. It might take a little while before they actually shift any of the particularly good stuff because they keep deciding to grab one item um, when there's a full stack of useful fruit juice. Uh, sure, we'll grab one more then and tell you to unload. That should help a little bit. Oh, that's our first loaf of bread. Oh, this is fantastic. Absolutely amazing. I approve. Uh, sure. You can have all of the people you need now. There we are. We should, at this point, be rolling in coins. That is glorious. Let's uh, increase the amount of workers over here, though. There we are. Well, let's have a look at our happiness. We've got some places that are only got three happiness. Yikes. That might take a little bit of time to go back up. Because we did shut down quite a lot of things for a while. Still, this could be greatly enhanced... Uh, even having a different uh, food market. I wonder if you can have multiple food markets covering one location. That would be very useful. I'll be honest, that would be super, super useful. Could I put this over here? Another food market. Because if I can, I can do away with a lot of those carts. Um, yes, I think that may be something we can do. Let's give it a try at the very least. Because if that does work that way, then that is just, it's going to be significantly easier for us to uh, manage everything here. So, let's go ahead, pop down another food market. There we go. And we'll have the market points in this way, for no particular reason. Uh, next up, we are going to need conveyor belts. There's just no other way of doing that one. So there we are. And finally... Just to grab it, just grab whatever you can. Absolutely fine. Just pull it out, pop it in. And there we go. Ah, of course. We can't pull out. Mm. That will be a problem for us. Because we're producing the poultices, we can't allow those to get out. Okay, that will be that will be something for a filter then. Um, what we have there is either just straight up regular fish oil or ointment. 
Um, how would what would the best way of us dealing with that be? Let's go ahead and pop down the this conveyor again. We would want to branch off and in under two circumstances. A sort of pusher will redirect matching items off a belt or shoot if there's space. Otherwise, it'll let it pass. That's more or less what we need. So one there, one there. This pusher will push uh, ointments off, or rather fish oil. This one will push actual ointments off. On the off chance that, that uh, fish oil gets brought out, it should actually be sent back. But the ointment... Uh, sorry, on the off chance that fish oil gets brought out, it should be sent back. Okay, I think this, this will actually work. So let's pop that there. Now we're going to want... Regular path there. No, 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 no. <laughs> my bad. Let's get rid of that. Totally my bad there. Uh, right. We want something like that. There we go. Now we want a silo right here. Okay. There we go. Now we are cooking with fire, as the saying goes. Uh, we're going to want the shoot in there. And we can just deliver the fish oil back the way it came. Okay, I did waste a, a bit of money there. That was a... Uh, definitely is a, a bit of a shame, but... Let's just have a look at how this works. That shouldn't be dropped. And that did. Yes! Perfect! Okay, that is glorious. Um, all right, I would pretty much like you to move this down to the apothecary. You do not need to be there anymore. Neither do you, realistically speaking. Everything else should be just floating through where it needs to go. Let's have a watch of this now. That should work a little bit better. There we go. The shell has been sent back so it can be processed back into ointment as needed. There we are. That works quite well, I think. I'm actually quite pleased with it. Excellent. Uh, how much... Oh, we're actually out of grain. Really? Uh, well, uh, our happiness is hovering. I'm a little bit surprised. Honestly, with uh, how slow this is. I think it's because they're having to spread their efforts around a bit, but we definitely need more people. Oh my lord. And for that, we're going to need iron plates. And that is no longer being stored. Alright, so I'm going to turn off nails being dropped in. I could get rid of a whole bunch of nails. We're not going to do that, though. Um, well, actually, maybe maybe we will have a couple of people helping out. Uh, a couple more wagons, perhaps. Oh, no. Not enough population. Ah, there we are. Of course. Uh, let me drop this by a few. This way we'll have enough for one more wagon. This wagon can help me in moving these nails out of here to the general store. Once we've got a, a clear area, then the iron plates should start stockpiling in there. Ultimately, getting a second uh, a second barn and having one for nails, one for iron plates would probably have been the better option there. Uh, and it's a shame that we didn't manage to get that going, but uh, that's not too much. I'm going to show right now. Now, mining. What does this do? Unlocks the mine. Is that something that I can use to automatically gather resources? That would be very, very useful. I must confess, I'd be very excited to get that, actually. Very excited. 
Right, we finally got some, uh, some iron plates going through. We're just going to shut that down for a little bit because I definitely want to see those iron plates start to stack up. <laughs> Why? Why on earth is this thing? <laughs> Stupid wagons! Please, can you vacate all this? That, that is that is probably the, the big reason not to use the wagons on... Yeah, just empty out this location because they do silly things like that. Ugh. Oh, well. Uh, what are you particularly working on? Are you working on anything? You might not be. Uh, in which case, just go ahead and move as much of this as you can. Please and thank you. Uh, we are down to two peeps. Ah, right, of course. You no longer have the herbs. All right. That is something I should have considered. Uh, we're no longer making poultices. Uh, no longer making band well bandages we can still be making but uh, not so with the pulse uh, I may we're going to remove the poultice for now a bandage can can make enough money I think let's go ahead and change this from using the poultice to the bandage For the time being, that should help out a little bit. All right, how are we doing over here? We've got plenty of fuel, plenty of chicken. Actually, a lot of chicken, I've got to be honest. And we are starting to get the iron plates back in. All right, well, we've expanded out a, a new kitchen area, and that is super useful for this little food market over here. I'm not sure that I'm going to take this away, at least not yet. I probably should in time. I'm very eager, though, to see how that mine works. That will probably be a big, big help for us. Uh, as far as the, the the grain, though, we're really not moving very much of that, are we? No, we are not. Uh, I think it would probably be wise for us, then, to go ahead and plant the rest of this as grain so that we can get that delicious, delicious bread going. But there we are. I think uh, that'll be enough for today's episode. We have advanced on a couple of things. We are we are definitely in a much better position now with our blue coin economy. And I'm really liking the amount of things that we're producing with the kitchen over here. There's still always going to be room for a little bit of improvement here and there. But I'm quite liking the little bit of automated setup we've got there with the conveyors. I think what we've learned so far could very easily be applied backwards to much of the setups that we've got going at the moment and drastically improve their efficiency. This spaghetti over here, oh, it needs to be fixed. Will it get fixed? I really don't know. I don't know. It's kind of growing on me a little bit, but that's going to be it from me. Do let me know what you think of the series so far down in the comments below, and I will catch you in the next episode. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone. <laughs>